Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a fascinating concept of arrow circles to deal with today. But first of all, I hope you didn't miss our stream yesterday. It's still available on a video on demand, a VOD um, on the channel, which was us. Well, I hope you did miss it, actually, thinking about it. It was us having a go at the last two 500k puzzles and I totally messed up the one I was doing. So those people who've always wanted to see a fail video on the channel, that's the one to watch. Um, it was a mess, but we wanted to get on to the Guess the Setter competition set by the Sudoku Skunk Works. Now, the Skunk Works are also responsible for our Patreon monthly reward, which is brilliant. So if you join us on Patreon, you will be able to have a go at that. There's still, we're only halfway through the competition period, 10 days left. Do give it a go. And also on Patreon, us collaboratively, Simon and myself, solving Zeta Maths vignettes um, and a crossword video. Loads going on as always. We've got an announcement coming later this week, which we're excited about, about the book, uh, our second greatest hits book. And what else is coming up? We've got apps. There'll be some updates soon, maybe news on a new one. I mean, there's just constantly things going on on the channel. Um, and the first, I mean, all the links are under the video, including to all our apps. And the first link is to this puzzle, Sayori's debut arrow circles. So I'm going to read the rules. They're normal enough to start with and they change. Normal Sudoku rules apply. And that means one to nine appears in every row every column and every box, each digit once each. That's how Sudoku works. Digits on an arrow must sum to the number in the circle. Normal enough arrow Sudoku. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Normal enough killer Sudoku. There's only two cages, of course. Uh, a clue outside the grid. Now, these are not sandwich or X sum clues. A clue outside the grid indicates the sum of the arrow circles in that row or column. So in this column, we have three arrow circles. They add up to 17, and this is all we're told. No given digits, nothing like that. But a fascinating idea. I don't think I've solved a puzzle with that rule set before, and I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Do try it yourself on the first link. Um, I don't know how hard it is. You can judge from the video length, I guess. But I am going to restart my clock and let's get cracking. So, what have we got to go on? Okay, well, let's start with arrow Sudoku. Three digits on a long arrow. Oh, I see this arrow doesn't join up. I can't unsee it now. Hopefully I'll have fixed that by the time you play the puzzle. Um, anyway, three digits on an arrow. They all have to be different because they're in the same box. So they've got to be at least one, two and three. So we can put at least a six in here. Now we can immediately try and use this 10 clue for this column. There's only two circles. Those two add up to 10. This is the high digit. So this is the low one. Ah, I was going to write four and three in there, but I see I'm going to have to put a two in as well, because even though it's adding up two numbers, those two numbers could be the same number here. They could be double one. So I'm going to have to leave two as a possibility, but I can remove nine from there because one was not possible here. Now, are these going to be the same? I don't know. They could even be double two. Don't know. Um, right, we've got a 22 clue in this row. So one of these circles is going to be a nine. They're either 985 or 976. There's not much to go on here, actually. Those circles add up to 12. Oh, of course, their arrows add up to 12 as well. That must be how it works. Yeah, those add up to 12. Those add up to 12. Now, there is a secret about Sudoku that you may not know. And that is that every row, column and box adds up to the same total. And we always know what that total is. By definition, each of those uh, possibilities uses the numbers one to nine once each and they always add up to 45 so now you know the secret tell your friends if you trust them um, anyway because they add up to 45 and because these highlighted ones add up to 12 and those circles add up to 12 that's 24 take that away from 45 these three cells add up to 21 I was going to pencil mark them but they could have as little as a four in 
and it's not actually they're all high digits it's not helpful for the six cage so I don't know that that does much at the moment I say at the moment as though I'm going to suddenly make progress and I don't really know how um, oh hang on let's think about this idea that this clue the 12 clue is not just adding up those circles it's adding up the values of the arrows now there may be other places we can apply that look at this 10 clue yes it's adding up those circles to make 10 but it's also adding up these cells to make 10 because they represent the same totals because of the arrow rule that is quite significant look the mat the minimum these can be in column five is one two three that's six already add those two which must be at least one two and that's nine and there's only one degree of freedom before we get to the ten total that we know they add up to so these can be one two three or one two four um, and these can be one two or one three now that's important actually because yeah these must include the one and so must these oh that's beautiful i get it now the one yes these are either one two three or one two four in column five so this digit can't be one or two these are either one two or one three so this digit can't be one and now we know it's not a five one cage it's therefore a 4-2 cage and because we know 2 is used in those cells this is a 4. That's a lovely break-in. Um, that's really nice. Now the degree of freedom goes from these arrows. This is where it goes in this column. We have to take 2 out of those cells and now they're 1-3. So these must be 1-2-3 which I could have got from just noticing that I'd put a 4 down there. Now these are 1-2-3 in some order so that's a 6. This is a four to make the 10 clue itself work. This can't be two anymore. This is a one three pair, which is what one might have expected from a four in there, but the two two possibility has been ruled out by that. Um, and okay, now what? I don't know, hang on, I do know something. Yes, look, this cell can't be one, two, three or four. Ah, it's at least five. This one sees a one, three pair and a two, so that's at least four. So the maximum, sorry, the minimum that can be is four, the minimum that can be is five, and the maximum this can be is nine. And we've got another arrow. We've got our first complete arrow done, in fact. Uh, there's gonna be a four, could be there. No, it can't be here because of the 22 clue. So there's a four in one of those. Now we've got the nine in this row. These others are from five, six, seven, and eight. They're a pair making 13 from those. Hmm, don't know what they are though. Um, no, what else? This didn't really lead on to anything, did it? Okay, we've got a one, two, three, five, four quintuple there. So I'm gonna actually bother because my name is Pencil Mark, filling in six, seven, eight, nine as candidates. And actually in this, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. This might yield something interesting at some point. Or maybe not. There's a four somewhere here. It can't be there. Oh, there's a 15 total up here, yes. Right, so this is either six, nine, or seven, eight as a pair. And that can't be nine, so that can't be six. Now, I must try and remember that these cells add up to 15 as well. That doesn't have to include a one. It could be two, three, four, six. I think it does have to include two of the bottom three digits. You couldn't have one, four, five, six. That would be too many. So there are two of the bottom three digits there, and those same two must appear here. And that's going to use up whichever two of the bottom three digits we're talking about for rows two and three. And then in row one, they must appear up here. 
and I don't know how to mark that, but I'm going to try and remember it. Maybe I will just colour those a bit, because there's a sort of virtual X-wing going on there that might be useful to remember later. Uh, these we're going to add up to 21. Don't know anything about that yet. Ah, there is, sorry, a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 quadruple. Right, so it was worth pencil marking. These are from 1, 2, 3, because they can't be 4. These could include the 4. Oh, hang on, I, I took 9 out of those cells, but they also can't be 5. 5 is definitely in one of these arrows. Circles. So it's a 5, 8 pair. And that is a 6, 7 pair, and that is an 8. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so 8 comes out of those cells. Now, one of these is a 5, and what I was noticing immediately about that is you can't put a 4 on its arrow, because there's a 4 in one of those cells and a 4 there. Whichever is the 5 arrow has 2 and 3 beneath it. But I don't know which side of the grid it is. So I don't know how to pencil mark that either. These are from one, two, three. Um, four is up there somewhere. Well, that was how I got here by noticing that couldn't be four. Oh, whichever one of these is a five arrow. Ah, it's going to use two low digits on its arrow. I now know which one is because this can't have two digits from one, two, three, four. Or we'd have five digits from one, two, three, four on the in the box. So it's this one. This is a five. That's an eight. The five does have two digits that don't include a four. So they're two, three. These two are one, four. We've made the 22 some work. That's good. This is seven or eight to make the cage work. And we've got six, seven, eight, and nine still to place in the box including that seven or eight. Now, what's the eight made up of? Oh, it could be anything. Three, five would leave two, one there. Two, six would leave one, three. One, seven would leave two, three. Oh, nine in the K in the box is somewhere here. That's, it's very annoying when four is the only digit that's definitely removed from a two cell eight sum because it does nothing. Now, this hasn't changed at all. No, I don't know what to... Again, make some progress, then get stuck. Somebody was saying I need to scan better yesterday if I'm to have any chance at the World Championships. I don't think my scanning's that bad. I think if you actually put anybody's solve up, you would be able to spot things they don't scan correctly. Um, I don't know. My, my own belief is quite strong that I'm all right at scanning. But I would say that now and then I'm probably saying that deliberately as I'm missing something very obvious somewhere in this puzzle now these two add up to nine which is not huge actually this one is part of a 12 sum as well so it can be three four five seven or nine I'm going to bother filling all of those in I'm going to take seven out now because the 12 sum would require a five there so this is now three, seven, eight, or nine. Now, if there was a three there, it would have a two, one arrow, a nine the other side, which would have to have a four, five arrow, and you'd get six, seven, eight here. A four, eight pair would be four, three, one, one side, eight, two, six, the other side, and five, seven, nine in the middle. And a nine, three pair would be, did I do that first? Yes, a 7-5 pair. Well, now these four cells that add up to 12 couldn't have a 5 in. They'd be 1, 2, 3, 6. So it'd be 5, 2, 3, 7, 1, 6. That's not possible because you'd have a f nowhere to put a 4 in the row. So we can take out the 5-7 possibility. Right, and these two add up to 9, I said. Now that's got more important. 9 can't be there. 3 can't be there. This is now the complement of three or four in getting to nine, or the, what is it, a, the, what, the difference or the, 
There must be some endum word, a delendum or something. Anyway, um, I'm sorry, I'm just sub the subtra end. Anyway, uh, enough of that. This is five or six. So this pair. Oh, this pair has a one on it, and either two or three. Ooh, that's getting interesting. This pair. Don't know. Can this pair be a two, three pair? Could be. Um, now, if that's three, two, one, this is nine, four, five. If that's four, one, three, this is eight, two, six. Seven must be in those cells. That's not very interesting. I can take seven out of there and nothing else. Oh, there's a one, two, three, triple. Ah, oh, that's quite interesting. This now becomes the higher digit in the seven, in the eight sum. This becomes the lower digit and also forms a one, two, three, triple in the row. Forms, oh, it's not a one, two, three, triple. There's a one, four pair there. That's a two, three pair. This is a one. That's a seven. Ah, okay. That, my scanning was awry, of course, because of that one, four. Why did I open my silly mouth? Six, nine there. We've got seven, eight pair. That can't be one. Uh, this is a six, nine pair. In fact, we know where they go. This is a five. There we go. <clears throat> eight, one, seven. Now, this is two, three, and there's a one, and either two or three here. I think that means only one low digit, one of the one, two, three digits can be here. Earlier, I found out that two of the one, two, three digits are up here. And because of this, no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if that was... Actually, it doesn't work, but for a slightly more complicated reason than I was working out. I'm, I'm trying to analyze if those two can be the two low digits that end up placed in these cells because of the yellows. There must be two low digits in this total of 15. There are three low digits there. And that means whichever two low digits are replicated in both yellows must be up here. Now, I'm trying to work out if these can be from one, two, three. And they can't because no two digits from one, two, three add up to five or six. Therefore, they're not both there. One is and the other one is sitting here and is two or three. Now, it doesn't mean there has to be a one on this arrow yet. What does this mean? That's two, three. That's... Ah, it hasn't quite resolved. I'm probably overcomplicating things quite badly at the moment, but... These are going to be generally quite low. What does that mean? Doesn't mean much to me. 817. Oh, look, I've got six sitting in the box with a 5 6 pair. Mayor Maxima Culpa. Now, the 17 total says that's a 4. That's a 1 3 pair. Okay, whoever it was yesterday, you're right. I need to improve my scanning. But you're wrong that I've ever won anything at the World Championships before. I haven't. I've come second four times in the over 50s category. That may happen again. Uh, it feels like. <laughs> Well, I'd be, actually, I'd be delighted with second, if I'm honest. Eight can't be there. Seven can't be there. Oh, hang on. This is really interesting. That can't be two, three, by the way. No, first, uh, I, this is very interesting. And have a look at that while I'm discussing the next bit to see why. But... This can't be two low digits. I think we established that. If it was two, three, you'd have used up the threes and you couldn't have one there. So it's not. It's one, four, and we know the order. Four, one, right. 
Now I'm going to, actually that sorts out one, three, and two, three. Now I'm going to get to this. This is really nice, because I couldn't see a way of figuring out whether this was six, nine, or eight, seven at first. But actually, if you put an eight here, where would eight go in this box? It's absolutely beautiful. It, they've got an eight there, so it can't be in those cells. If you put an eight here, it can't be in those, and it can't be on the arrow, which has the eight on in the circle. Also, that eight would make that a seven, and now its arrow couldn't have an eight on, and there's no way. So that's brilliant, that's a six. I bet that's on the path, because that's so neat. That's a nine to make, so now we've made all the clues outside the grid work. Now, does that tell us whether this is 1, 5 or 2, 4? There is a 1 here, by the way, because that is one of the two low digits that's replicated here. So these do include a 1, but is it 1, 8 or 1, 5? And I don't know, but it will form another virtual X-Wing with the ones there. They'll use up the ones in column 7 and 8, and there'll be a 1 over here somewhere. And I'm not going about this in the sensible method now. Let's get rid of 6s from those cells, and indeed that one. 4, 1, 6, 9. That's 2 or 3. Will it be 3 in the corner? I don't know. Or will it retain its religion? We'll find out now. Okay, come on, let's think about these. 8 now can be here. If that was 8, 1, that's 2, 4. That's 5, 3. Look, this 3 might be important. No, 5, 3, 7, 6 here. That works. But if that's 5, 1, if that's where the 1 goes instead, don't know, that doesn't quite force as much, in my mind. Okay, a bit stuck there. Let's make that 7 or 8, and we've got 5, 7 and 8 to place in the column. Uh, 4, 3, 6, 5, 1, don't know about those, they're from 2, 9, 8, 7. That is 2, 3 or 9. Oh, these are 5, 7, 9 now. Right, did work that out before, forgot all about it. Nine, five, five, seven, nine, two, four. So one from one and three is here, and one from six or eight. Let's look up this column. One, two, three. Oh, that's not a nine now. Chocolate teapot quadruple, i.e. useless in that there's two digits for each possibility, but they're not forced. That's not a nine, though, so... Come on, there must be something. There probably is something obvious going on again. Mm, is your scanning better than mine? Probably. Two, four, five, seven, nine. What's that doing? Oh, six in this box. There it is. Yes, right. That deals with that quadruple that was causing me angst for no reason because it was instantly dealt with. Now, six, nine, four, two, five, seven. These include an eight. They form a one, two, three, eight quadruple. These are from four, five, seven. That one can't be five. Hasn't really sorted everything out. These include one number, oh, one number from two, three, and one number from five, seven. Let's think again. If that was eight, one, that's two, four. This would have to be five, three. That works. Eight, one, two, four, five, three. That would be seven, six. That works fine, okay. Let's try it the other way. If this is one five, it's more difficult this way. I'm not seeing any obviousness. One of two or three is on this. Oh, eight, eight can't be there anywhere. So it's on one of these things. There we go. So it's in the, it's in the nine arrow. That's been 
shouting at me for a while. Couldn't see it. I think this 10 cage, it's done now. I wonder what it was there for. Probably for this... I wonder if there's a 2-3 pair here that would be um, a deadly pattern if it wasn't for the 10 cage. Not sure. Anyway, 1-8 there. This is 2-4 now. That fixes 6-2 and 6-9. I think we're finishing now. 3, 5, and 7 still to go up there. 9, 5, and 3 up this column. Well, that can't be 9. So that's a 3, 5, 7, triple. 2. 2 is the other yellow number along with 1. There it goes. I forgot all about those. Um, so 6 is down here somewhere along with... Oh, and it's there along with three, five, or seven, that has to be seven. Okay, seven, not, ah, oh, that makes that four, that makes that five, that makes that nine. The four fixes two, four, the two can't be there, and it's now there. Don't know about that number, one, two, four, five, six, no. Let's go down here, one and four, yes, I can place them. It wasn't three in the corner in the end. Sad for three. Missed its song. That's not a one. One, two, six, eight, four. I thought we were finishing off and we weren't. Um, that is eight or nine. Five, four, one, two, nine, six, three. That's seven or eight. Ah! Neither of those can be three. That's the simple way to get three in the top box. And again, not in a corner. Nine and six. No threes in the corner here. Um, seven, eight pair can't do that. That nine has fixed nine down here. The six doesn't do anything. Nine, one. That's seven or eight. Final cell to pencil mark. Nine, six, four. Oh look, this has to be a two. That's all it can be. Right. Last two in the grid, I imagine. Now I have to disable. Have I missed any clues? No. So this is just Sudoku. So I'm missing something. Yes, there's a cell that is seen by a seven. Um, and that only fixed those two cells and nothing else. So I'm still missing something. Might yet be something clever to do. Um, or something relatively simple. Yes, three is looking at that. Very simple, even. Eight, one. Yeah, okay, my scanning's terrible. I, I hold my hands up. I was lying before. Uh, eight there, seven, five, eight. Five and seven, three, five, three, eight, and seven. That's a lovely puzzle. That's really cool. Beautifully organized, didn't really need the fancy stuff with the uh, hidden X-wings, but I enjoyed solving that. It's very clever. I hope to remember to fix the uh, arrow there to reach its circle before you see it on your screen. Um, I can't do it on this video, but thank you for watching as always. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.